Hello, my spooks. It is I, Spooky, and I want to first apologize for Ozzy playing on my YouTube, but once again, I am too lazy to get up and turn it off. Um, first, I wanted to send a thank you to the people who viewed my Hot Topic review haul-ish type of video. I uh, didn't expect to actually get any comments or um, concerns or whatever, and my inbox kind of blew up with people saying how much they liked it and wanted me to do more videos. So um, a couple of the suggestions for me to do videos was um, 10 random facts and I thought I would just do this video today and because it seems simple and fun and the laziest out of all the suggestions. So I thought I would go ahead and do that. Um, the uh, first fact is that I do enjoy 80s pop and synth pop music. I don't care if you kick me out of the metal club for that. I freaking love 80s music to death. And I will sing it at stoplights if it's on in my car. Number two, my fancy counting system because I'm too lazy to edit the numbers into the video. I'm not calling guys losers. I love you guys. L is for love. Love. I love you guys. Anyway, uh, number two, I literally will only eat French toast and home fries for diner breakfast food. If you take me out to a diner for breakfast, I am getting three slices of French toast with home fries and apple juice. That is my go-to breakfast, even at home. I don't really, I'm not a cereal person, I'm not a pancake person. Freaking French toast and home fries. Number three, the first horror movie I laid my eyes on was Night of the Living Dead. My father was trying to scare my brother and I when we came home from trick-or-treating. Unfortunately, it made my love for horror and all things kooky, and I still love it to this day. Number four is I do play bass. I was self-taught, and I still have a lot to learn. I haven't played in like two years, but I would really like to pick it up again. It was very relaxing to me. Number five, I have been writing since I was a little kid. I think the first story that I ever written was in like either kindergarten or first grade. I have the notebook somewhere. We found it in storage. It was about a witch who ate children's feet and um, would run off with all their candy. And I remember one time back in 2005, I had been like eight, eighth grade, eighth grade I think, I was doing this uh, one story about I, all I remember is that it was about a girl named Becky who is going on a train and trying to stop a murder. I really wish I could find that because that was awesome. Uh, number six, um, I am a chocoholic. I absolutely love chocolate. My favorite cake is triple chocolate fudge cake. I will eat it to myself. I don't care if it takes me a week to eat it. I will eat it on my own. Do not touch my chocolate. Number seven, my favorite soda is Dr. Pepper. It's the only soda that does not make me feel ill. Any other soda makes me feel a little after a while. Number eight, um, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do outside is to have a bonfire and a uh, and grill and just enjoy being outside at night. Preferably, you know, away from people, having good times, telling ghost stories, being weird, all that fancy stuff. Number nine, I basically met a majority of my idols the first Scarecon I went to, and when I met Sarah Kyla, she really thought I was bonkers. I met Lisa Loring, which is the original Wednesday Adams from Adams Family, and my sign poster is right here, but I'm not taking it off the wall. And I was completely fangirling my first time. The second time I went, I was more chill. I made friends. They recognized me. We all chilled together. It was really fun. The downside to this is Scarecon. I was with my ex-boyfriend for all the times that I've been at con, and so they associated us being together, and we're not together anymore. So now, like everybody from con's like, "Oh, I can't wait to see my favorite couple," and it's like, "Okay, guys, let me school you on some information. You're not gonna see us together. No, never. It's not gonna happen." And number ten, um. The most random thing I've done, 
I can't narrow it down. Let me be real with you. What you see in front of the cam is what you get in real life. Not bullshitting you. This is it. I am a random fucking person. I have many random moments. I can't just choose one. So we're just gonna go with my life on that one. I hope you enjoyed this poorly made video. I hope you enjoyed jamming to Ozzy with me, even though the songs are rather on the lame and cheesy side. And I hope that <laughs> just kidding, I love these songs. Even even, even the slow cheesy ones. You gotta love Ozzy. You gotta you gotta show some love to Ozzy. But anyway, um I will be hoping to make another uh video. I'm hoping to make an unboxing video by the end of the month. Um I ordered something online that I'm waiting to come in, so that will be fun. It is horror related and something that I just started trying out, so I wanted to share that with you guys. If you would like to see more of my videos, click subscribe. All my social media links are in the description. Uh, feel free to pop, feel free to pop, 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 pop. You know what? Ever since somebody mentioned that I don't stutter in my videos ever, I've started to stutter in my videos. You know who you are. You know who you are. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, my social media links are in the description. Feel free to add, follow, like, all that kabloogy. Feel free to share this video or anything that I put on the freaking internet. And keep up on my Facebook like page, Spooky Kids, because we have a type of negative tribute coming up. There's um, some gothic glamour coming up and some more horror. Um, based on some historical events, maybe? I don't know. Depends what my creative mind feels like doing that day. As always, thank you for wasting time with my existence, and have a good day. Bye!